project, a big idea, a big goal, a big dream, I do want you to know you can do it. You can do it. And if you don't believe in yourself, borrow mine. I believe in you. I'll let you borrow mine for you until you have enough developed that you can believe it for yourself. But you can do it. You have the power to take action. You have the power to elevate your thinking so that you can achieve more than you even thought possible before you came to Charlotte. And in case my words aren't enough, I'll leave you with this quote from music artist Paul Graham. Don't tell me the sky is the limit when there are footprints on the moon. Look at your neighbor and say, I can. I can. My name is Harry Barker. Thank you for your time. You guys have a great GPS. All right, you guys. We gotta get Gary a way bigger round of applause than that. First and foremost. Great center pressure here. Technical difficulties, you work right through them. Make sure that you go talk to Gary, right? This is somebody you wanna to talk to, this is somebody you wanna to get to know. You don't happen to remember your booth number off the top of your head. 301, 301, right in the front. So 301, right in the front. Make sure you stop by, introduce yourself to Gary. And uh, thank you so much, sir, that was wonderful. Excellent, all right, you guys. Well, we're gonna get, uh, get transitioned here. I've got a, now you're the tech support. Social media part two, no. Uh, <laughs> coming up here in just one moment, we have Mr. Stan Banks. We'll talk to him in just one second. Absolutely. And I, I don't know if you guys remember this amazing young lady here, Lisa Potts. She is also the tech guru now. Nick passed that along to her apparently. So good job, Nick. <laughs> All right. Excellent. All right. I, I have one more question for you. Okay. That's the first time that's happened tonight. All right. I, I've got one more question for you here tonight. Who here is going to take something that you learned? and put it into action immediately. Awesome, look at all these hands. Good. Tonight, who's gonna to put something into action tonight? Do it, absolutely. Good, awesome, all right. I believe we are ready here. And uh, let's make sure that, okay. All right, so this fine gentleman right here, Mr. Stan Banks with the T-shirt side hustle is an amazing guy, somebody that I've looked up to, somebody that uh, talked about emulation before, right? Somebody I want to emulate. I'm gonna let him introduce himself because he needs no introduction, but this fine gentleman is going to get you fired up. He's gonna talk to you real, right? He's gonna share what comes from his heart. So let's get him up here. You guys are gonna have to get him up here though with some style. So let's, let's hear it, let's hear it. content to make a living. I got on YouTube 
to show people how I was making a living to provide for myself and my daughter since 2009. I started my YouTube channel in 2017. So this is where I started, all right? So when I put this presentation together, they sent me an outline, all right, they asked me to send in the outline, and it said some of these things that you guys got to see, where it started, uh, where I'm headed, uh, and all these things. It said, Stan, make sure you got some gems so we can inspire people and show people. So I put these little notes down the bottom here, but this is me doing photography. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I've done photography, computer repair. Uh, like you said, I, whatever it was, I always had the intention of making money, right? So here's my, one of my first graphic designs right there. If you can't see it from far, but there's a typo in there. That was my profile picture on, on Facebook for like probably two years, right? Here, I got, I got put out of school, just to be honest. I got put out of school. When I got put out of school, I went home, told my mom, I'm getting rid of my bed. I need a desk, it's time to go to work. Because I don't make excuses for the things that are going on. Here, I got into a new school. I'm in a dorm room, this is my college dorm room. I got my iMac right here, editing photos. I'm building a website right here on this double screen computer. And right here, I got another laptop that I was, something was on there, probably some computer programming for school. But I found the situations. You guys gotta enjoy the journey that you're on. If I can tell you to do anything, just fall in love with the journey and enjoy the process. So here's my walk into the industry. There was no information on the internet. Maybe two or three people, right? Two or three people across the internet with the information. There was a wall, there was a, a, a hidden gateway to get into this information. The key here is to try everything. Up here, in 2014, this is me making socks for a football team, right? Silky Socks is taking over the market when it comes to celebration socks. I was doing that in 2014. It just wasn't my thing, so I moved on. 2015, I'm screen printing, washing out a screen. It wasn't going well. I, I mounted a dryer, uh, a, a screen print machine to my mom's basement to get started, washing out screens and burning screens. I had a terrible time. 2016, told you guys I'm a serial entrepreneur. I was selling marketing materials to restaurants, to businesses, designing and, and putting up table tents. I had no education in brokering or anything like that. I found a source, I found a buyer, and I figured it out. All right, here, I installed a sign in the gym. I will never do this again. <laughs> I did it on YouTube Live, I was embarrassed. I had no idea what I was doing, but Again, I figured it out, I had nowhere to go. 2018, I was doing uh, some sublimate, or not even sublimation, some vinyl with slides. How we were gonna do it? Well, these had straps. But in the beginning, we found something that didn't have straps, and we was just holding our hand up, put a little shirt in between it, holding our hand to the top of the heat press, and rolling it into the stuff. You know? All this, throughout this whole journey, you're gonna have to figure things out and try everything so you can figure out what's for you. All right, so then in 2017, I started my YouTube channel. I said, I'm gonna teach the whole world because it was no reason that I had to figure all of this stuff out on my own. There was uh, Ryan, from Ryan, uh, Ryan Moore from Ryan Net on the internet, but his information just wasn't for me. I wasn't trying to start a screen print shop. I couldn't find the right price of information. So once I did know, I said, this, it shouldn't be a secret. It shouldn't be a secret that you know, you need to do this or to do that. So I decided in 2017, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Here we are today. Uh, there was a question earlier, I think it came from somewhere over here about advice on starting YouTube. Everything that you guys see, this, this 150 videos in the first 30 days, uh, 105 plus thousand subscribers, 6.5 million views, 700 hours of watch time, it's all been off of a cell phone. All I did was buy the latest cell phone. Sometimes it wasn't even the latest, it was what I had in my disposal to use. And if you don't have an iPhone 13, you should have one because it has the best camera. I was about to go buy a four or $5,000 camera so I could get the boat in and pull the background out and separate myself from the background. And this thing came out with cinematic mode. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't need a camera. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my first YouTube video. I was sitting at my job, I was making $10 an hour. And I got this job, this was the first job I ever had in my life. I believe I was 26 or 27. I didn't get the job because I needed work or needed money. I got the job because I didn't figure out how to get insurance as an entrepreneur. I had a daughter and we needed health insurance. So with this $10 an hour job, was one of the best decisions I made because it gave me an opportunity to sit down. 
yeah. give me an opportunity to focus because sometimes we get caught up in the grind and the hustle of what we got going on and we forget that if we organize and we work smarter, like my man said earlier, you organize yourself, work smarter, not harder, you can get a lot more things done. So sometimes I was around the shop, but I wasn't really working, I was busy. I was doing things that kept me busy, but I wasn't making the best use of my time. So here, I didn't care that I was making $10 an hour. However, I got my first paycheck, I'm like, this ain't gonna make it. This ain't, this ain't gonna take care of me and my daughter. So that is what inspired me after a while to come up with this YouTube channel. T-shirt side hustle was not supposed to be a YouTube channel. It was supposed to be a written blog. So I took a notebook, I wrote 10 articles down, and all those 10 articles, I looked at them, I looked at my terrible handwriting, my bad grammar, my bad spelling, and I said, I can't afford an editor, this ain't gonna work out. <laughs> so I took my camera, I sat on the desk like this, I tilted it up, no tripod, found what was near me to get the right elevation, and I said, welcome to T-shirt side hustle. I told a little lot. I said, I'm at my full-time job, but I'm off the clock. I was still on the clock. I had my baby 15 minutes. <laughs> just in case, you know, just in case, you know, they were watching or whatever. But I had some true freedom at this job, which I loved it. I was working with old people, and I would ask them questions because I was inspired by Gary Vee. I was like, what do you regret? What do you regret in life? You know, what are the things that you regret? And I realized the things that they said is like, they just wish they had more time to spend with their families and things. And I thought about my life, and I was always present with my kids. However, my son would be in the shop with me. He'll be in a box, I'll give him a phone or an iPad, and he'll sit in a box. We'll forget he's there. So I was present, but I wasn't only present. All right, so I'm gonna take y'all back. This is 2018, my first time speaking. You gotta start small. Earlier they talked about start what you have, start where you are. You gotta start small. My YouTube channel, Maybe a year into it, I got an opportunity to work with Towing Solutions, the MDM, which is where we are now in 2018 before the name changes. I had a class, maybe two classes back to back, 14, 15 people, but they stayed hours after. I didn't have time to switch, switch my, my presentation between classes, switch the setup. We stayed probably an hour and a half after they broke the room down. People were still there because the message is real. It's not no fluff, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Or I still pretty much don't have anything to sell. I got two books that I wrote. I don't even sell them. People ask me all the time, I, I got to hear, when's your website going to be at back up? When's the book coming out? Because I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here to show you what's possible. You can take the information off the YouTube channel. You can track it back. It's all, it, this industry hasn't changed in 10 years that I've been in it, 12 years that I've been in it. I'm pretty sure it hasn't changed in 30 years. However, the thought process of what you can do has changed. So now, 2020 hits. Before the pandemic, this is pre-pandemic, I said I'm gonna take over the industry. I'm gonna take over this industry with the information that I'm given because I go out every day and I go places and I travel and I meet real people with real stories and we share commonalities in what we do. We all have a start here story. We all have a start here story. If you look at the bottom, the core roots of those stories, it's all the same. You know, you got a guy, who had a rock band, he was making shirts for his rock band. You got somebody here uh, who, who, who needed uh, some onesies for their baby, and next thing you know, they got two autos in the screen for the shop. You know, for me, I was just trying to promote a photography business. I had no idea about making shirts, but I found a way, once I realized what was going on, somebody, I had my photography shirts, hey, where'd you get those made? Can you make mine? Yeah, I can. You got some money? <laughs> So, the last thing says, start small. small. Start small where you are. Then you can go big. Now, here we are, current times. I'm on sets. This here, it's set with like 15 people just on camera. I got makeup on. I'm like, what the world about the baby? I don't know what you doing. I, I travel. You know, I travel to all of the impression shows. I'm sorry. I just got to keep it real. I travel just to meet people on my own dime. No company reimbursing me. I got no support. Now we get recognized. But I just decided to show up. I threw a conference called Made the Hustle because there was nowhere for us hustlers to go to grow. There's information. There's conferences for screen printers. There's hangouts for screen printers. There's happy hours for screen printers. I go to these events because I can talk to the screen printer. I, can, I, I started out screen printing at my core, but I didn't feel quite at home. 
I didn't feel like the information was quite for me. I didn't look right and have somebody I could relate to because I had no aspirations of growing up being screen pressure. I almost cursed, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so now I speak uh, at different places. I'm the face of about five companies. I don't know how. I just put the information and content out into the world, and I'm the face of companies. I'm behind the scenes. I'm marketing for some of the top companies that you guys support. I'm doing a lot of work behind the scenes. So I got to give you guys some gems here, right? Some gems. So what I broke down is all of these marketing meetings. There's five segments to this industry. All right, I'm gonna get a show of hands after I break them down and I explain it. All right, so the first one is the crafter. Crafters are the artists of this industry. They do it for the love, they do it for the joy. They don't care if they make money. They may make some money here and there, but they enjoy their pastimes of making things hands on. All right, I respect it. I look at it like, man, how do you have time to make? Where did you come up with that idea? All right, next is the maker. The maker is a crafter that intends to make money with their craft. They might have a brand. You know, they're making something, but they intend to sell that so that they can make money, at least to fund their hobby, because these hobbies get really, really expensive. Yes. All right. <laughs> so the next two, I put them side by side for a reason, because they're kind of the same, right? That's the hustler, the small business, right? And then there's the brand. These people are doing it with the intent of changing their lives in some, some way, shape, or form. For me, I think back, you know, I remember getting calls in college. I had my, my, my daughter, and, uh, you know, it's a need pampers. I gotta figure out a way to send money for pampers or to do whatever it may be to get done. You know, I, I had joy, I found joy in being able to take uh, my kids uh, on a trip. You know, you may want to save a thousand dollars just to take your kids on a trip or just to go, just go somewhere because ten dollars an hour ain't gonna cut it. You know, and, and people with college degrees leave college and work for ten or fifteen dollars an hour. It's not right, right? I don't believe people should have. A, a second job, I believe they should have a side hustle because there's no limit or no cap on how much money you can make. And the last one is the professional, right? The professional probably isn't even printing anymore, right? They, they run around the shop and they're doing different things. So for some odd reason, us as hustlers and entrepreneurs believe that we got to go out and work in order for it to be what it is. Well, I'm sorry to tell you guys, but you probably own a job, not a business, right? It's a big difference between the two. Now on the side here, I said it was five, I added this right here, this content creation, right? And that's, again, that's a question, I can talk about it, I can give it to you, some of the information, but I'm gonna tell you the truth, I don't look at analytics, I don't care about what people say, when you should post, how often you should post, I just put the content out into the world, right? I don't care about views, I care about impact. And when I come and show up here and I hear from all you guys, there's so many people out here doing the real work that you'll never see making content. So, how many crafters, now that I got, we got, we got the, the, the theory, how many people out here making things but don't care about making money, they do it for the love, purely for the love? All right, we got a few, I'm still count maybe 10, 15, no. How many makers are here? So that means you're not just making shirts, you're making up everything else, but you intend on making some money. Okay. All right, so about 20, 30. All right, how many hustlers in the building? Let me put my hand up big. Okay. Okay. All right, that's about 75% of the room right there. All right, any polo brands in the building? Anybody with polo brand? You, can have, you, can, you might find yourself in multiple places. You got a polo brand in the building, it's like one or two, that's good. And this ain't the place for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, and, and, I, and I say that in all honesty, we gotta show up and get the information in places that is relatable to us. Right, and you know, I had a conference and I had a few brands there, and I was like, Man, I wish you didn't come to be honest. Just to be honest, because the information that we're making talking to a print shop, and the information that you make talking to a cold brand, it's a completely different world. The things you should be doing is completely different. However, you can learn from one. You know, if you're a cold brand and you want to learn about the processes that goes into making your clothes and doing some of that stuff, it's really important to know. And if you're a printer, and you want to know about brands, you can service the brands and people with the brands better if you understand the things and the problems that they have and the things that they do, all right? Any professional decorators in the building? I'm excited about that, you know? <laughs> Listen, the industry hasn't changed. I found myself early on in my career about, and so many arguments across the internet about the right way to do things. And I'm, and I'm going to argue and stand on the table like, yo, this might not be right, but it works for me. 
And we have to understand that just, you know, down the line, you may improve the process. Doing the best what you have. I stand on the table today, and I take my 12-inch cutter. I don't have big ones. I've never opened. I got a 24-inch one. I probably got two 24-inch cutters in, in, in my stores. I never even open because all I want to do is make shirts. I told you, I don't want to see a big decal. I don't want to install it. I'm not that detail-oriented. <laughs> I want to get to some questions, so make sure y'all get them ready. I hope that ain't my time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that ain't my time. Alright, All right, so listen, I want you guys to walk away understanding this. You can take this as far as you want to go. I'm probably one of the only influencers that can, can go in a room, no matter which level it, that you just seen, and have conversations and truly care about the people that I talk to and try to get you the best information. I don't know everything, but I know somebody who knows of that how to solve a problem that you may be facing. So I try to build the connections and bring people the information so that you guys can see it. Now, on to the most important part of my presentation right now. I try to get through that as fast as possible. This is real people and real stories. Real stories, real people. Yeah, this is my travels over the years. You know, some great people here, some great people in this crowd. Nothing better than building community and meeting the people here. The speakers, we're great. You can find us on the internet. The people right here, you'll never probably see again unless you talk to them. And the person next to you or the person at the table behind you or in the front if you're in the back, in the back if you're in the front, somebody here that you can go and you can meet that can really change your business and insight in your life. And I firmly believe that, believe that because I've attended the top screen printing uh, conferences uh, in the industry and I see print shops flying from here to there. Somebody said there's no competition around you, right? The people here aren't your competition, right? And that's undoubtedly true because ain't none of us got a chain business. None of us have a chain business in 50 states across America. So the person next to you, even if they're down the street, they may not be in competition. All right, so I'm going to go to it. Here's my friend Jennifer from Pink Skin and Pigtails. She loves cracking. She makes money sometimes. She don't care. She's happy where she is. She's a big content creator. She enjoys making. I don't go to her and tell her, man, you should be trying to make more money. It's not what she cares about. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. All right? All right, so do what you love. Love what you do. All right, this is my friend Stephanie. Stephanie. I met Stephanie across the internet. I probably had got maybe a six months. Some people met for the first time here. They've been friends on the internet for, for months and years. I probably met Stephanie a year after I met her on the internet. I just said, you make some beautiful content. Stephanie yeah, learned how to screen print from Jennifer. So as I went over to the event with Jennifer, Stephanie was there like, oh, she taught me how to screen print across the internet. That's how small the world could be. You never knew, right? She made beautiful content. She has a, a career. She has a job. She has a nice job, nice paying job, all the PTO that she wants. Uh, and her hobby makes her income. She's a maker. Jennifer's a crafter. She took what she learned from a crafter and turned it into a business. That's the beauty of what we do. This here is Lex. She was afraid to start over. It's okay to start over. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the gym from the last one. It's find your niche, All right? Find your niche on this one. It's okay to start over. So after a bunch of coaching, a bunch of conversations, she was afraid to let go of a following of like maybe 800 people on Instagram. She finally started over. She grew her Instagram to 3,300. As of the other day, she's making five to 10 grand a month for her COVID brand. But she would have never got there had she not started over. Because her Instagram was people were there for customs, they were there for clothes, but they weren't there for her brand. Give me 100 people that care about what I'm talking about before I take 1,000, 10,000, or 100,000 people who don't. If you build your niche, you find your audience, you find your community, they'll grow with you, and they'll support you way more than just having a bunch of followers. Next is me. All right, this is my this is my t-shirt business, gourmet t-shirt bar. You guys can follow it, right? I did all the work on my own before now, right? I'm a hustler. I'm the entrepreneur. I'm trying to go and be a professional now. 
All right, now I'm building a team. So I got eight people in different realms. Two people right now are responsible for my t-shirt business, and the other ones are responsible for uh, t-shirt side hustle. And the last guy is, I'm working on something called the Apparel Academy for Youth uh, in the Entrepreneur's Learning Center. Uh, find the best people you know and get them to help you. All right, find a way to get them to buy it with you. All right, this was interesting right here. In 2019, this is Black, he's from New Jersey. I just went to breakfast with him the other day, last week, all right? He knew nothing about screen printing in 2019. Absolutely nothing, all right? He made $500,000 in 2021. He ran up to me and said, yo, your videos, they got me started. I'm like, that's dope. He said, look, man, I'm doing like $250,000 right now on, uh, on, on retail sales. I'm like, bro, you don't got to show me the receipts. I believe you. You don't got to pull it up. He's pulling it up. Yeah, tell, us how, tell us how to do that right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> tell us right now how to do he that. He spent seventy thousand dollars on transfers in 2021. Seventy thousand dollars. And I'm here on the internet arguing with screen printers if this is a valuable way you can't run a business like this. This dude spent seventy thousand dollars on transfer. He spent seventy thousand dollars. Now you can understand how he made five hundred thousand dollars, right? He spent $70,000. He just got an auto screen print machine with this guy. He made the best out of what he had. And then once he had something valuable, he went and got information. He went and got machinery that he needed to elevate his business. Wow. He's on pace to do $750,000 in sales this year. That's unheard of. All right. My guy, SC Shirts and Hoodies. His name is Sean Espinosa. All right. He is. Uh, he had a vinyl cutter he did. His first job was hard for him. He did a reflective job for an oil rig. All this stuff washed off his shirts. He's on patient to do $1 million this year. I talk to him maybe once a week. So you asked me to show you guys how to do it. You got to do work. The information is all out there. They all took free information and turned it into a whole lot of money. I had no idea on how far this thing could go. Before I got started, I was just hustling in the moment. I got no aspirations of running a million dollar screen printing company. I walked in the shops with 13 autos and I seen owners with their hands going off, can't even five minutes of their time because their machine is down. It's a stressful life. But you can carve out whatever you want to be in this process. You can carve out what that looks like and you can work and you can build it up until you get there. Growth is inevitable. He called me the other day, he cashed out on a Mercedes Benz and he ended up giving it to his wife. He was like, man, I gotta thank you so much because you know I was doing some other things to make money. I never thought I could do this off of t-shirts. I never knew that I could do this buying gold chains and hanging out with famous boxers and because he's printing stair merch or whatever the case may be, but he's doing it off of t-shirts, something positive, and he didn't know it was possible. This year I got the ultimate reward, and I think this is the ultimate reward for all of us in this room because it's unorthodox how I got it. I was voted with. Number one apparel decorated influencer. Again, I'm sorry, but this is from the apparel list, which is pretty united. How I'm on this list with 10 other people, or not, I'm sorry, nine other people that have like 40 and 60 years each in this industry, maybe 30, maybe 20, some of the top industry people. But I'm here to provide real impact. I don't care about views. I don't want to work with companies that don't understand the mission. I want to show you guys how to build better businesses. Ultimately, you guys will become better customers. You'll buy more product. If your business does do better, you'll buy more inventory. It's just a natural progression. I don't believe that companies should be selling you stuff you don't need. You guys should stop buying stuff you don't need. Don't buy stuff because I got it. You don't need more than two new presses, especially if you're working by yourself. If you got some employees or you got some helpers that come by, you only need one more heat press than people that you have helped. That's what I believe, because that's just fair. Don't go buy the Wild Press, the Heat Press Nation Signature Series, the Trans Pro, just because you've seen me unboxing on YouTube. I did that so you can make a better choice. And all honesty, I don't care what company you shop with, I don't care, you know, whatever it is you want to do, you can do it. Find the information that's going to help you. So, a lot of people uh, hear me talk on the internet. I'm a little crazy, I apologize. I do curse probably a lot. I've gotten a lot better, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Uh, but what's next? You know, I believe in community. I'm here to impact people's lives. That's been my mission from the beginning. You know, 
uh, the growth that I had only allowed me to do more of what I was doing when I started. You know, I am very fortunate to be a full-time content creator. I stopped making shirts in 2020. I'm starting again right now in 2022. I probably didn't leave with no time for questions, but I will be here all day tonight and all day tomorrow as well. Make sure that uh, you guys to take pictures. I'm always available for pictures. Make sure you tag myself. Make sure you follow me. Make sure you tag the other creators. Make sure you follow them as well. Make sure you use the hashtags uh, graph, uh, GPX Charlotte, Graphics Pro Expo, and also tag the pages. And I want to say thank you to the sponsors because uh, I've been fighting probably for the last three years of my journey to get companies to care about the people in this world. And the truth is that because there's no, they can't clearly define an ROI on the investment because we don't have accounts that are going to yield them four, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars in one year. They can't justify the cost of doing what's right. And you know we contribute to a lot of uh, charity work for companies that doesn't come back from here. We spend our dollars, they take it, they invest in their their communities. Their, their schools, wherever it is that they care about, but they don't spend it back with the hustlers and the entrepreneurs in the room because they just don't see value. I believe it has to be a community effort and they gotta do it because what's, that's what's right. So my goal moving forward is to attack the white space, which is showing you guys how to grow. It's a lot of people with great videos, you should watch them all on how to make stuff in the beginning. My goal now is to attack the white space and show you guys how to grow your business. That's why I crafted and made the hustle working on a lot of things. Last thing I want to tell you guys is I got a big chip on my shoulder. And that chip stands for a consistent hustle and progress. And if you guys have a consistent hustle and progress, there's no limit to how far a chip can go. Let me break that down for you. There's no limit to how far a consistent hustle and progress can go. Your business can go as far as you want it to go. I showed you the rounds. I showed you people out here going to action work you'll never hear from. There's a thousand people, I don't know how many people we got, about 300. There's 300 people in this room right now, and somebody next to you is going to be the next person making a million dollars just because they decided to do something good with the information that they received. If you got to pay for information, just make sure you pay the right person. Make sure the person that you're using as a mentor is doing the work or have already done the work that you're looking to do. And I'm sorry to the finish back there, but ask them, have they ever read a t-shirt business before you take what they say to heart? Oh. Go find somebody with your products and ask them before you buy how it's working out for them, how they're using it, how they're working it with them. I ain't got no time for questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we've got time for questions though, so don't, don't, you get you stand up there for a second? Okay, all right, so, try to not have the feedback here. Who's got a question for Stan? Raise your hand, I'll run the mic out there. I see one way back there. Well, I'll work my way back up here. We've got just a couple minutes for questions, and then <laughs> these guys are gonna be hanging out over here in a little bit as well, so. Questions right here, right, yeah? Okay, what's your question? I really don't have a question, I have a comment. I would like to thank Mr. Saad Hustle for his authenticity and his inspiration and his unboxing and things like that. that that's everything. Everything. Because this is how we learn and, and see what works and doesn't work. So I just want to thank you and keep, keep it going and good luck to you and God bless you. Thank you. Got time for one or two more questions. I got one over here. All right. <laughs> you want this? Okay. Tell me which questions. All right. Give us the origin of the name, T-shirt side hustle. So I wanted T-shirt hustle, but somebody parked on that domain with some terrible T-shirt designs. Uh, I was sitting at that job. That job was technically my side job in my eyes because I would leave there and go put all. I would be in the shop three. Three o'clock in the morning, as you guys know, we've been around for a while, print shirts and doing different things. Uh, so, side hustle, full time job. I figured t shirt side hustle is a good thing to get people involved because if you got a full time job, you shouldn't have a part time job after that. You should have a side hustle. My side hustle was t shirts, uh, and it held true. And uh, yeah. And period. <laughs> Best place to buy 
ready-made transfers or t-shirts? Best place to buy ready-made transfers. I am a huge advocate of Supercolor. I found Supercolor in 2020. Uh, they make four-color transfers. It's not the best place to get one-color transfers. I do not personally like 15-cent transfers. I shop at a place called Top Transfers. But you got to do your own due diligence and see, uh, in, in general, what company makes stuff that you like near you and get you the right turnaround time. Uh, so, sometimes we get too caught up with a company, and sometimes we just got to go somewhere else. If it's not working out for you, go shop somewhere else, test the product out, wash it, uh, and, and find a company that really works for you. you know? Thank you. Thank you. What up? Let's get y'all the game on the YouTube channel. Let y'all see the behind the scenes. Just keeping it real, man. You know, we're going to go wherever we need to go to spread the message and get more people doing what they should be doing. Keep people doing what they should be doing and the way that they should be doing it. There's no limit to how far you can go. I got a big chip on my shoulder, and I hope you do too. It's been your boy Stan Bakes from T-Shirt Side Hustle. Peace.